So you click this video because you want to learn how to start day trading. While in this video, guys, I'm going to teach you exactly how to start day trading from beginner to advanced. If you're a beginner, sit back, tell your grandpa and grandma to sit down because they need to click that like and subscribe because this video is valuable. Don't take it too personal. With that being said, guys, let's get straight into the video on how to start day trading like a pro. So right up, first up is choosing the market you want to trade. There's so many markets and choosing them is such an important part because you know what, this is really going to fit your personality or not. There's different markets and each market has a different personality. Like a human, I'm serious. What I'm trying to say is that you can have NASDAQ, which is an index. You have stocks, which is like Tesla. And then you have like currencies like EURUSD. A currency is much more slower, whereas an index is so much faster. It moves more pips in value than a currency now for me first up is choosing the market as simple let me know down below in the comments what market is the best to trade for you taking us up to number two brokers and platforms you get regulated brokers and you get irregulated brokers brokers that actually are on your side they want to help you as a trader they want to provide you a great platform and you get brokers that just doesn't give two about you right if you understand what i'm trying to say you need a platform as well right a platform where you can actually chart and analyze your market on a broker a platform is two different things a broker gives you access to the market and a platform is where you're going to analyze your market on so if you're a beginner get yourself right trading view down below in the description click it there's a free version and then there's a pro version which i recommend you to get actually invest in yourself click the link down below get trading view and start analyzing after talking about brokers and all that good stuff how much money should you start with very important question well the case is this really cannot be answered exactly like $100, $200, $300 because remember, everyone's budget is completely different. It's all about what you can afford to lose. As usual, there has to be some sort of number, right? I mean, I'm sure, Shakil, come on. There must be some sort of... What did you start with? So for me personally, I would say, you know, a reasonable amount is to start with like $100. Anything lower than that, you're really gonna struggle trying to grow your account, you know? $100 is a standard point. You can start making some money. $10, $20, $30, which is quite reasonable. Looking at the ROI, it's about 10% of your account. Well, this is such an important topic. Having the right strategy or having a strategy. Well, I think traders don't understand this part. That if you don't have a strategy, you, won't, you will never know when to buy or sell. So having a strategy tells you when to buy and sell. And that is when you're going to make money. If you don't have a strategy, you will never know when to buy and sell. Now, I cannot emphasize anymore that you need to have one strategy that is proven to be profitable. Continue watching and I'll show you exactly how to buy and sell in the market. As simple, as simple as ABC. A lot of people are asking me, what? Should I or in fact you'll find most traders just open up the chart the entire day finding the best time to trade you know always finding entries trying to find a trade i'm telling you that's just part of the cycle of doom if you really want to find quality trades you need to know exactly when is your pair more active and that's going to know firstly what are the sessions what are the sessions there's three big sessions firstly london session New York session and then Asian. Now, I recommend none of you guys to trade Asian because the liquidity is very low. That means the market doesn't really move. But the London session, that is more active. You trade more pound pairs in there, right? That's where you find, you know, GBP pairs really moving great. GBP USD pairs moving great in that session. Then you have the New York session, which is the most traded and biggest session. And almost the entire world trades that session, right? Now, in South Africa, it opens half past three and then, you know, like as time saver change, it, there's a, something called like saver time saver, something like that, where the market actually starts opening half past four again. But like right now, it's opening half past four South African time. Now, again, guys, this is where I trade USD pairs. Now, you see why this is correlated to the market you chose, the first one? Choosing the market is such an important time because remember, let's say you work night shift. You can't trade Asian but you can trade maybe the New York. So you're gonna have to choose a pair that's according to your, you know, schedule, what fits your personality. See, choosing the market is the important part because why? If you choose the right market, you know, okay, you know what? It goes with London session. Nah, I don't like that market. It goes with New York session. Choosing the right market 
well, it automatically means what you know session will be trading. Trading psychology evolves around fear, revenge trading, uh, knowing really truly who you are. You know, when you start trading, when you're not trading, it sounds crazy, but the moment you start trading, there's certain emotions that will rise up without your will. They just come up, hey, hey, I'm like, I'm here. My name is Fear. I'm scared to place on a trade. It really happens, guys. So it's such like these emotions that will come up and now you as a trader need to find techniques that will help you manage these emotions, okay? Not everyone is the same. I might feel fearful to place a trade. You might not be fearful, but you might be too excited, which is also emotion. And you shouldn't be trading with any emotion. So part of trading is trading non-emotional. Not having any emotions to trade is such an important part. Now, me personally, what I do is I meditate. I become more mindful. You know, I speak to myself. I journal. And in fact, I have more discipline and just following my strategy simple because remember strategy tells you when to buy and sell when to get in when to get out so following emotions is not going to get me anyway i've accepted that part so you need to accept that right now that you know leave the emotions by the door because we are starting to day trade and we are profitable t- traders come on like that like that like that video and comment down below right now subscribe let's move on next one i've got two bonus tips for you guys just to end this video with a spice, right? And number one being community. You need to have a community. Without a community, honestly, you're gonna be like, you know, like it's like, you're gonna feel lonely. You're not gonna really know, you know, are you doing things right, wrong? And I have a community. I have a free community. So all you gotta do is really join that free community, follow what I'm sharing there. I share more value in there as well. You know, videos, tips, motivation, Sometimes it's analysis for you guys. I host streams in there. All the good stuff for you guys. So if you're really looking for a community, hit the link down below in the description. Join the community right now. Follow me on Instagram. Just, you know, so you be part of the community. On the other side, guys, next bonus for you guys is I'll put everything in perspective for you guys. I'll add another video right now for you guys. And all that, everything I explained for you guys, I'll show you guys exactly how I do it for you guys. You know, like a strategy times psychology everything i'll put into a little perspective you guys i'll show you a trade analysis and what you should be doing in the market just to add a little more value to your trading for you guys but anyway peace love happiness don't forget to like subscribe comment down below and enjoy the rest of the video everything you learned in this youtube video i'm gonna actually put it into play for you guys and i'm gonna share exactly how you guys can actually learn um practically how to do it so the hope this part of the video will be more helpful because i'm going to do it practically from actually choosing your market from choosing the broker platform how to set your platform how to use the platform in fact and then like straight tra- show you guys trading strategies and then also how much like if i had to start this amount of money and i'm going to back this that strategy for you guys so if i had to start with so much money how much more money i'll actually have made and um on the other end also show you guys trading times and my trading psychology behind these trades so i'm gonna show you guys trade ideals basically trade setups that actually played out and then you guys can actually learn from those things now of course guys you know i love nasdaq and USD lately USD i've been really getting on to it a lot more but um for me personally number one is choosing that market guys so you guys can see right here um choosing the market is such an important part guys as you can see on the side right here this is the market okay guys now you can see um one thing i can tell you guys that right here the best thing is to actually choose the market you want to trade so not having all these pairs on in fact all you got to do is just you know delete delete clear out all your pairs if you should rather that's one thing I will recommend so this is trading view that i'm using so let's clear out all trading view or nonsense right here so we don't have all these things right i'll just clean everything quick for a minute okay yeah let's say this is it so if you don't have any of these things on your us 30 or anything like that so what you go on the top here but the plus sign click us 30 and then you select um xm or you're gonna select a window you know both of it will work i just like to have sometimes both and then you can click on it then your chart will open okay 
Then to set the platform up, guys, you know, this is the toolbox right here. Just to note, there's a toolbox. The toolbox is like what you're gonna use to analyze. You can see like this is to make like an arrow tool. This is like just an example. This is like to draw. Um, this is a, a, a short tool to show you selling. This one is a long tool to show you buying. So that's my stop loss there. That's my stop loss on top, but take profit, take profit. You know, um, this is a box tool that I use to like, you know, to box off an area. An indentation, I can write up stuff with this uh, to calculate how much pips I'm using. And then here we have a vertical line, you know, and then I have a trend line and all the good things I'm sure you understand right now. So these are just tools that I use, guys. And now to start with and to begin with, you know, um, for me personally, like I told you guys, I chose one market as I chose US30 right now. And then I'm choosing the platform, which is Trading View right now. And my broker, of course, is the one I'm using in the description down below. And then on the other end, guys, now you have your you have your market, you have your platform, you have your broker. You can sign up the broker, so you're now going to find your account. Uh, but now, to know exactly, like I told you guys, I will start with $100, but I'm going to show you guys how to grow it. But personally, the strategy is more important right now. So... For me personally, I like to trade the, um, what do you call it, the uh, uh, New York session. So I chose my uh, my session already. So you can see that's also selected. So I know, okay, around this time, this is the time I'm starting to trade. Then I won't be looking at anything else, guys, you know. So um, just to put up a strategy, show you guys that's a high there, that's the low right here. So I know between these two levels, we'll be trading. On the other end, guys, what I will do is I will also just simply maybe go on the lower time frame because I'm scalping, you know, and look for a trade on the lower time frame, you know. Um, on the other end, guys, I think what you should also do is maybe understand, you know, what trade you are. So, you know, you're scalping or day trading or swinging. Now, <clears throat> what I'll be looking for is a simple, you know, here's a trend line here. Now, I know this is a very steep trend line, which is what we call this a trend line to grab three retailers. I'm looking for either a break case and then sell off, right? Something like that. Let's see what happens. Market taps into there as the first sign. And then you can see here we go. Market breaks really out. Now I'm looking for the market to come sort of back. And then I'm going to get in for sales lower, right? Some sort of retracement. Um, if it doesn't give it, it doesn't give it, guys, unfortunately. Okay. See, market still didn't come give it. You patiently waiting. Now, on the other end, guys, what I can definitely say is if this happens and you don't get a trade like that, it's fine. You just be patient about it, you know. You be patient because, you know, end of the day, it's all about being patient and knowing when to enter a trade or not. So, that's something you should learn. Let's do another one um, for another day. I'm trying to be more realistic to you guys, show you guys exactly how I will be doing it, right? Here's another example, okay? Here we can see markets going up, 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 very steeply. We have, like, it's going to be soon, uh, this, the session. You can see here we have a trend line. In case I know most traders are actually looking for buys on this trend line, and I'm going to be that seller in this market. So... <laughs> And now we have a high right here, guys, you know, and simply just looking for a break touch. There we go. And then market come down, came down. We get a retracement right there. That's where we're getting in. So now let's say I'm going to take in about 10, say five. There we go. And I'm going to sell off right there. So at least I get in right there. Maybe my stop's going to be at that high like that. Maybe like that. To be safe and then maybe all the way down for one or two, two right and then we let it play out see patiently you're rolling you see what happens market drops down all the way down hit stake profit you're out and then you made one thousand dollars over there you see what i mean but i was risking five hundred dollars to make a thousand dollars you see so that's as simple as that guys sometimes you shouldn't just you know over complicate trading this should be as easy as possible and this is a simple way of me trading guys there's a lot more i should trade teach you guys on strategies and if you guys want to learn more about how to trade the forex market with strategy not how to start as a beginner but like how to actually trade this the forex market with a nice strategy from 
technical analysis, teaching technical analysis, then comment down below right now, guys. Um, you know, teach me how to trade. Teach me how to trade. You comment down below, teach me how to trade. And I see there's, you know, at least over 100 likes. And there's at least 50 comments down below. You got it, guys. I'll definitely make another video for you guys on how to create this strategy more further in detail from step A to B. With that being said, guys, now you guys have your trading strategy and that. So, again, I'm going to uh, just go through the trading psychology, guys. You see, this is the New York session time. You see the New York session open right there, opus three, opus four, and there, boom, that's that flow of that session. So, now on the other end, guys, you want to understand that when the market came this close here to your stop loss, you might have felt some sort of emotions, but the key point is to follow your strategy. Remain calm as possible. Speak to yourself. Do those techniques. Breathe, meditate, and talk to yourself. The key point is to talk to yourself. And if you're too stressed out, it means you're risking too much money. Uh, it's not a amount of money you should be risking. So that's something also learn that if I risk something lower than what I'm used to or something that I'm okay with losing, I tend to be more rational about my decision, you know, and more non-emotional towards the market. So yeah, that's it guys. With that we said, your main issue kills them. I hope you guys enjoyed it. La leave a like, like I said, 100 likes, 50 comments down below, and I'll definitely drop another video on how to trade this forex strategy on US30. Peace, love, happiness, and I'll check you guys in the next one.